Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 91 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now, Zhao Yuan was suggested by YouTube user Aaron Quatch, and he wanted me to play as him. And I did some training to get him to max rank so he can equip up to four items at one time. You have to go to the Battle of Mount Dingjun Wave Forces, of course. And now we'll just get our character selected, and we're gonna go over the different attire. Okay, we got this. Uh, that looks ugly. Luckily, you can just rotate if you're not too sure. This helmet is very similar to what he has currently since Dynasty Warriors 7 and 8. And this, of course, is his Dynasty Warriors 3 attire. That looks totally twisted. Kind of looks like Waluigi. I think we should give him a helmet this time. Luckily, you are the enemy commander, so you have little to worry about. With that, I should definitely use my fourth item slot for something pretty good. I think we're gonna give him Huang's bow, cause he already has a pretty good arrow attack. And yes, this actually does stack with his first charge attack. Like whenever you just press triangle to shoot multiple arrows, Huang's bow actually does give you more damage for it. That being said, I want no bodyguards with me because there's two things I have to do. I have to defeat Shen Shu before he reaches the main camp, and I also have to defeat Huang Zhang. I had to defeat Huang Zhang before Cao Cao shows up to our camp, which is usually around on the six minute mark, so to speak. So I'm coming to get you, Chen Shu. There. Okay, get out of there before you get trapped. Now it's just a matter of waiting for Huang Zhang, and then we kill him. So he must be over to the northeast, at the very least. So, just take him out as fast as possible. I'll just head over to his general direction. Luckily, I maxed out my attack power, well, maxed out to the point I can actually train it, not max overall. That being said, however, it's really gonna help in the long run. This could be I feel the same way! Get lost. I took my chin into my chest! Silence! The day Wang Zhong leaves the front is the day he dies! Yeah, or notice that like smell going across, and you can actually see it. So charging at charge attacks might be a bit of a pain in the ass to do, cause well, I'm obviously crowded. If I can take out Yan Yan too, that will also make a difference. But Huang Zhang is my main target. And remember, he's gonna be powered up for this fight. So hopefully he, we don't take too long to defeat him. Or too many casualties. Jeez, he's got like a ton of forces around him. It's gonna be hard to keep track of everything. But if Yan Yan gets in the way, that'll also make things easier if I can defeat him as well. But man, crowd control, I, like I said before, it's gonna be a sore spot. Damn it. But at least I kept Jaho Du alive. Cause you know, I could use some officers too. Once again, I have no worries about my commander, because I am the commander in this mission. The last thing I want is to be so close to defeating him, and then Cao Cao shows up. And that means you miss out on the objective. Damn it. Hey, stop it! Don't make me put you in the home, man! You'll be sitting right next to Grandpa Simpson. And look playing bingo, and it's like, you sunk my battleship. 
and then everybody laughs because apparently they're used to repetition. Every day in life for a senior citizen is repetition sometimes, especially if you're an OG. He got attack bar boost. It's like, I was just like uh, making fun of senior citizens in the home, and then Yan Yan's like, STOP IT! I was one of the oldest fighters in Shu history. Which is true. That's the known thing about Yan Yan, is actually he served Shu's military for quite a while. Yeah, I'm pretty much screwed. Unless I can defeat an elite guard, I'm pretty much in a bad spot. I'm gonna have to start retreating. It gets worse. I don't know where I can go to get some health, man. I just don't know. Good, he didn't recover any health. Oh shit, this is bad. Oh good, elite guard! Go, go! Tumble down the hill! Yes! We live! Okay, we got a chance! Slim one, but a chance. You may be one in a million, but you know, dumb and dumber. So you say there's a chance. And then you just find out you never get the girl after all, and then you're just pretty much just hitchhiking. Oh, oh. Yes! Beat him! There, and Yan Yan's just gonna run away because he's a sub commander. There, Enforcer Rod has been unlocked. Awesome. So I'm gonna top off my health now and go look for Liu Bei and finish him. So now I'll do is to defeat him and the stage is over. So if you got any other suggestions, feel free to do so in the comments. As for Aaron Quatch, the guy who suggested this, he already gave me a ton of other suggestions anyway, and I'll do them once I actually get those characters built up. You seem to have picked one character from each kingdom, though, which is a nice bit of variety. My rod says, Shut the frig up, Zhao Yun. And where's your lord? Thank you. Now, in retrospect, maybe I should have, like, looked for Zhao Yun first, and then defeat him. So that way, I wouldn't have to be dealing with three officers. Maybe just two would suffice. Because Liu Bei by himself is going to be very damaging. He has very good attack power for someone who can move so fast. It's like a shoe orgy going on here. I don't like this. What is this, the repetition hour or something? Everybody repeat after me! They're strong, but do not falter. Got it. One more time, everybody! They're strong. Never mind. That's not the words. Um, thanks, I guess. Less bowing, more fighting. You know, like what I'm doing. Man, at this rate, I'm gonna be bowing permanently. Like, I'll just have spine problems. Taking all these magic blasts to the face. And getting stabbed in the upper back. Getting stabbed in the lower back. Stabbed in the side back. Side in the baby back ribs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. 
Oh. Did Zhao Yun just lack interest and just say, forget, I'm not even gonna go? Oh jeez, here we go again. Okay, Fa Zhang's been beaten. I'm scared. Never seen Shaho Yuan so precious. Well then show up! Yeah, you're my main target here, Elite Guard. Oh thank god that was a potion. Said no Pokemon gamer ever. They don't wanna look for potions, they wanna look for TMs. Oh wait, I never even picked up this item. I was too focused on wanting to live! Oh, he got some health back. That's shitty. But, the price you pay, am I right? What else did he do? I did not see that. I don't want him to boost his attack power, it's already pretty nasty. Oh, now he boosts his attack, Jesus. What else did he boost? Does he have like a game genie in his ass? Like just, yeah, I want this now. Uh, give me this, give me that. Hoi. That could have ended horribly. Twice, mind you. That's what I get for being so reckless. Just rushing into the fire and getting flanked on every angle. Even angles that haven't been created yet. And all for that, I don't get any new items. What a pity. But at least I'm sporting a new enforcer rod. And women are probably sweating just watching this right now. Now I'm I'm going to cut that out now. So, I'm going to stop the video here and then in the next episode we're going to get another level 10 weapon. Hopefully not as, you know, penile if that's the word. See you later everyone. Thanks for watching.